I'm not the girl who cried wolf I'm not the girl who cried wolf today's video. Today I will be telling you guys my experiences of being a beginner model and how I became a model and what the modeling industry is like because a lot of people have been asking me lately how I got into modeling. So I'm a 15 year old model. I've been modeling for over a year now with an agency and I started by being spotted at a mall. So I was just waiting for my boba bubble tea and this guy comes up to me, hands me his card and he's like, hey, Call us if you like ever want to start modeling. And so I discussed it with my mom later that day and we decided that I can get signed to an agency. So I was super excited of course. And later my parents and I went to the studio to meet the agent and he took some test shots of like from profile like full body and stuff and he also took my measurements. And so that was basically the starting point. So I want you to know that being spotted is not the only way that you can be a model. Because before me being spotted, I actually like really wanted to like try and be a model because a lot of people told me that I should like start modeling and stuff because I'm so tall. I'm 5'11 by the way. <laughs> but when I got spotted, I was like 5'9. And so I applied for a bunch of model agencies for where I live. I didn't know that much about model agencies back then, but I did like some research. And I got like one call back out of like 10 agencies that I applied for. Seems like it was yesterday. And they were like an agency for like, kid actors and models as well. And back then I think I was like too short to be an adult model and too tall to be a kid model. <laughs> So I was just kind of there in between and then I got spotted and then I began my modeling career you could say. It's not really a career though yet. But anyways when you get signed with an agency and you're like yes I want to do this for sure they give you this contract that you have to sign and it varies on agencies I think for like how long the contract lasts but for me it was two years and my contract is actually ending soon. But once you sign that contract, you can go to another agency and all of your professional photo shoots and like things you get paid for are going through that agency and then to you. And so of course the first few photo shoots are kind of rough because you don't have a portfolio yet, you only have your digitals, that's like what the test shots are called that I mentioned earlier. And if a photographer likes that model then they contact the agency and then the agency arranges everything. And I forgot to mention this earlier, but I'm in what's called a mother agency. So a mother agency places you in bigger agencies. And so you can be with that mother agency that like gets you all the beginning photo shoots. It starts you off. And some people I know got scouted for the big agencies and that's like their mother agency. And so now I'll talk about like the first few shoots that I've done. So my first one actually was like one of the best shoots I've ever done and it was so successful and I'll put some photos around here of what it went like. Also if you're under 18 then your model agency will want you to go with your parent or guardian to the photo shoot and also if the agent doesn't know the photographer and has like never shot with him before then they might not let you go alone and they'll want you to go with a parent or guardian if you're under 18. Also, if you want to become a model but you're not the required height, which is 5'9", I think, modeling still exists for people who are shorter than 5'9", because some model agencies do modeling like specifically for the face, and if you have like a model-worthy face, but you're like short, then do not worry, there are still a bunch of opportunities for you out in the modeling world. Don't be afraid to apply to modeling agencies. It's really popular now since Instagram is popular and a lot of model agencies are on there. Maybe do some research on the model agencies that are like around your city and then follow them on Instagram and tag them on your photos and you can use their hashtag if they have one. And they do like spotting also over Instagram. Other times like when you get spotted, it's usually like in a public mall or like in a public place. 
and also you can like just email them and apply or go on their website and apply and there's like usually like a page to apply so yeah best of luck to you guys who want to be models so i'm going to talk a bit about castings and i actually just came back from one today and like this is all told to you by your model agent but like i'm telling you this now so you know what to expect so at castings you wear like skinny jeans and heels and like a slim fitting top or like a top like this one basic you know simple but you wear like neutral makeup so just a bit or like you go like barefaced so today's casting that i had it was for like a video since it was a video they have to know what you are like on video so <laughs> they're like have you ever done like one of these video shoots before and i was like no like not professionally but uh, I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> They're like, wow, like, we're gonna switch you up later. And I'm like, mm, please don't. I went there and all of the models, <laughs> let me tell you, like they're more experienced, right? And when I was sitting and like waiting with them, they were like, oh yeah, like go out there, like be confident, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty shy. <laughs> I'm only confident when I'm like alone in my room and it's like me and my camera and my cats. But when I'm like in front of professional people, I'm like kind of shy. They asked me to like put on a beret and walk around like you're at home, like pretend you're like putting it on in the mirror. And so I put that on very awkwardly. <laughs> and I knew <laughs> I wasn't gonna get the part because like, I'm just not confident. So. so they ask you things like that, right? Since it's like for a video. But for a regular casting, they probably would ask you to pose. They explain the mood that they're looking for, and that's before every photo shoot or like casting. On most photo shoots, they play music to like get you in the mood. So music is actually a big part of photo shoots, I've noticed. People are probably wondering if I miss school for a photo shoot, right? And I will say that yes, you probably would have to go during school and miss school for a photo shoot. But other photo shoots happen on the weekend, so like, I don't know, it kind of goes both ways. So yeah, you arrive to a photo shoot and they do your makeup and you change it into the outfit and you start posing. When you're doing like a professional photo shoot, you have to be very focused. On this one photo shoot, my mom called me and I like rushed over there to pick up the phone because like, I knew it was my mom and she was probably worried. And then the photographer, she's like, no, 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 come back here. Don't do that for like the future. Know that you shouldn't answer your phone while you're shooting. <laughs> and I don't know how I didn't think of that. I'm probably scared that my mom will freak out if I don't answer the phone. And so yeah, I learned my lesson that day. I will not pick up the phone if my mom is calling because while you're shooting in the middle of a shoot, like don't do that. And they give you little breaks, of course, when they like go over the photos. And also on most photo shoots, they're really nice enough to provide you food. I've had some good food over those photo shoots. <laughs> it's not about the food. It's not about the food. And so at the photo shoot, sometimes you may get asked, show a part of your body like this or like, your stomach or like a shoulder or something and it's totally up to you if you want to do that and they'll ask you are you comfortable with doing that they'll never force you and I really respect like the industry for that because they're not gonna go against your wishes one time I got invited for a bikini photo shoot in Thailand and I was like um, no I'm 15 <laughs> and my model agent even said no that's too young and before a photo shoot I usually shave wash my hair look presentable you know and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you got like a little insight of the modeling industry and and what it's like to be a beginner model I hope you try it out if you want. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to DM me on my Instagram or comment something below this video and I will be sure to answer that. And if you want more videos about photo shoots, modeling, and like how to pose and stuff maybe, then also comment that down below. Hope you guys liked this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!